Dr. Andrew Caldwell, PhD. Okay, I like saying that. Um, good morning. Uh, it's been a while. <clears throat> I came on here to definitely send l- love to all the hurricane victors. I said victors, <laughs> victims. Um, I'm definitely sending love to everyone who are infected. Before you get on here, talking about the storm was not that bad. The rain was not that bad. There was a lot of people who lost their lives. There's a lot of people on here who lost everything, including their homes, their cars, their children. Some people lost their lives. So be- before you get on here, uh, before you get on here, saying things, think about how blessed you are. How when the rain, the thunder, the lightning came over your house and you are still alive. My heart on this morning is definitely overwhelmed. As I looked out on Facebook and I saw pictures and a lot of them from, I think, AI, what do you call it? They really need to destroy that app. Whoever are creating those pictures circling around the internet needs to rethink. Because the storm was really that bad. Some of the pictures are just AI, mean fake, man made pictures together, whatever, however they did. If you are creating those pictures, you need to stop. You really need to stop. Because some of us out here are really praying, some of us out here are really fasting. And some of us out here are just thankful and we know that we are on the edge because we know God is soon to come. Be be very mindful when you are creating those pictures. I just wanted to say that. I'm sorry, you guys. I, I, I can't speak the exact English like you. And I apologize that I'm not more, I'm not uh, uh, more fortunate than you. I apologize for coming on here because I have a heart that's made of gold. And I apologize for coming on here uh, saying that I'm so educated. But I I barely got, I barely, but but (laughs) but Yeah. So, um, I just wanted to say, I pinned the comment. Are you still on the radio, true? You got to be very careful when people tell you, I love you, Andrew. Mm-hmm. I say, mm-hmm, okay. You always in meetings. Well, all these meetings is finally from the workout. <laughs> uh, I was in a business meeting. And this woman who said, Andrew, I love you. I'm praying for you. The trick, the trick, <laughs> the tr- somebody in the comments, I know this ain't godly, but I got to call out the devil this morning to all my screen recorders. You're going to have a good live today so you can sit back and make some money. And I am, I'm very aware that someone lost their debit card or lost their checking account and they're asking my supporters or asking, um, they've been posting videos. Before I go into that trick, let me just say this. I may, I've, I've been made aware. Um, I just went, took out a police report just now. Um, and I know that they said the officer is supposed to be calling me this afternoon. Um, I'm, I'm very made aware that people on YouTube or copying in my videos saying they have fans or saying that uh, we need to call out the lives and all they post is me. And then you get on there talking about uh, you need money because your account got locked and you, you're you going to pay everybody back on Friday. Well, baby, I'm going to have you charged for um, use, using my likeness and saying that um, you you represent me or um, you n- no I'm going to have all that looked at because I believe you are doing a scam so I reported you to the police I took out a, a report um, and I'm getting ready also this morning to meet my attorneys at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time 
Um, not PST, not EST, not um, none of that. Central Standard Time. So I will be meeting my attorneys. I'm getting ready to also go after you. Um, I, I, I want to make it clear. I want to make it clear. I'm not playing with y'all. I've been quiet and I've been doing a lot of stuff. Um, and I'm talking about watching stuff, doing stuff, taking care of stuff, getting stuff shut down. Oh, I've been working. So I heard the word on the streets is I'm poor, I'm broke, um, I got everybody fired. Uh, what else they said? They've been saying a lot about me. But one thing you don't know, I'm a notary. One thing you don't know, I own a store and I have my business license which is in the city of St. Louis, in St. Louis County. One thing you don't know, I own another store, which is a boutique, um, an online boutique, and I own another boutique. You don't know that, and you're not going to know. Um, and one thing you don't know, I'm working on a biggest project that's, when I, honey, when I go to sleep, it's going to make money. When I go to, when I go and sleep on the toilet, whenever I decide to go sit on the toilet and poop, I'm going to make money. Okay? Know that. Then I heard that, um, no, I'm just saying because, you know, Dr. Caldwell likes to read. So I'm giving you what you want today. So then I heard that no one likes me. Baby, I get invited to many events and I decline them on purpose. So just to say that. <laughs> um, then I heard that, cause you know, a lot of you guys are very quick to turn on me. Um, then I heard that um, I would never be on a radio. I got so many radio contracts, and I'm trying to decide which one I'm going to do. So make it clear. Did, I'm Andrew Caldwell. I, I barely can talk. I barely can pronounce words. I'm funny. I have a clout. Um, uh, what else? I'm flamboyant. Um, what else? I mean, hello. People want me. You don't think they want that on the radio? Oh, and he can be a little bit messy. <laughs> At least I'm man enough to say. So, um, you don't think people don't want me out here? No, you just don't want me. And I'm here to let, look, l listen, listen here, honey. Get this in your head. That goes to everybody that's on this live. Yes, I'm yelling. But that goes for everybody that's sitting on this live. If you don't like me, I don't care. I'm praying for you because I want to go to heaven. But that doesn't mean that whenever you see me traveling across the world, oh, by the way, I am traveling tomorrow. I go live at the airport. Um, so well, th that doesn't mean that we're friends. Because I know a lot of you guys on here don't have friends. And I know a lot of you guys on here are really quick to turn on people. You would never get that chance to quick to turn on me. Okay? Understand that. A lot of you guys on here are not truthful to yourself. And a lot of you guys on here are creating drama and spreading false information about me. You don't know me. I'm Andrew Caldwell. I grew up in a house at seven years old. I was put out the house because I was gay. Um, what else? Um, I was homeless at one point. Now I'm taking care of three homes. Um, what else? Um, I, I, I lie sometimes. I make mistakes. I'm normal just like you trick. You lie. You make mistakes. You're broke. I ain't broke. Okay? What I do is... I find many ways to make sure income come in so that I don't have to sell booty. So I don't have to go out here and steal. I know a lot of you guys, um, I, I know for a fact a lot of you guys on here are scammers. And I know for a fact that a lot of you guys took out PP loans. You just haven't got caught yet. But let me find out on my watch. I'm going to make sure the feds not, they going to knock on your door, Tracy. They going to knock on your door, Eddie Mae. They gonna knock on your door, Travis. They gonna knock on your door to door because it might not came from you, but it probably came from your kids. Oh yeah, the whole family is scamming. I don't have to do that. And you can go, since you want to fact check everything, go fact check that. I have never took out a PP loan. Oh, and I'm still in my beautiful Porsche. I heard it was repoed. Why would my car get repoed? I made enough on you, dummy. <laughs> it still is. And don't forget, I have a pharmacy technician license. So if I ever decided to go back in pharmacy, at least I have a degree on. At least I can depend on my degree that I went to school for for four years. Okay? 
okay? You remember when I was working at CVS? Oh yeah, why was that CVS? CVS paid for my school because when you go to, when you work at different places, they pay for your education, right? Oh, okay, I ain't that dumb. So I can always depend on that. Oh, and I think about being a uh, funeral director. What else? What I got? Uh, hold, let me go back and backtrack so you won't think I'm lying. I have three stores, getting ready to open up a restaurant, getting ready to open up a boutique. Um, I have something else major that's going to be on all the shelves uh, throughout the city of St. Louis. What else? Okay. Pharmacy, not pharmacy. It's pharmacy. Store with a P, not an F. You tried a trick. But uh, he on there calling those people trick. No, them, those, some of y'all on her ain't people. Some of y'all are animals. <laughs> Be clear. And 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 stop going around talking about that's my friend. I don't know you, child. Be aware. I see every comment and and. By on a lot of these pages on the cover. I see a lot of stuff and I gather a lot of information about me. And what I do is I have your IP address trace. And we figure out what, how, what's, what's on you, what warns, uh, what scams, or how many disability checks you're stealing from your grandparents. So, so some of y'all on, on some of y'all that really sick on these YouTube pages and faith and these little Instagram pages and blogging about me, cool blogging about me, you need to get your life together. You need to stop scamming, you need to stop stealing. You need to stop horn. You need to stop fornicating. You need to stop backbiting. You need to stop being a major scammer because the feds, I'm very connected to the feds. If you didn't know that, I'm pretty sure somebody told you who I used to work with. You need to stop. And some of y'all went to jail. <laughs> oh yeah. Some of y'all did go to jail. I got confirmation. Okay. And then let me just say this. I heard, let me, no, I can't say that because I think that case is still pending. But anyway, so some of y'all really need to stop. Some of y'all don't have a pot to piss in. Some of y'all are dirty. Some of y'all sits around. Like, if I leave my wallet down, I'm pretty sure you're going to steal it. So, I just want to say this. And I, I, I want to say this. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. And neither are you. So, when you ever sit around and thinking that you're going to sit back and bash me, know that. I have undercover pages out here, and I'm building up a case on a lot of y'all, okay? And I promise you, you're going to go to jail for hate crime and creating group. I got four people that's already in jail for hate crime, okay? <laughs> now, I ain't going to sit back. I ain't going to sit back. You can call the feds on that. You can call your local police department and ask them and um, have Andrew Caldwell got some cases out there from people being in jail, okay? Yeah, the FBI arrested. I, I, you know, you get a letter. So when, when you go and fill out a report, I know how. I'm going to tell you how it went because I got like four people recently who just got arrested for hate crime. So... The F, when you want to report to the FBI, what you do is you pick up the phone and you call the FBI. Or if you know someone, you have them to, you know, file a report. All they need is, <laughs> all they need is information, who, what, and when. If you don't have who, what, and when, try to keep the IP address. That means screenshot that page. Screenshot the page. One. Screenshot the page. If it's happening multiple times, like emailing, calls, do not delete that. Screenshot that. Keep that. If you have an attorney, <clears throat> have them to um, reach out to the FBI and the police department as well. What you do is you go file a police report as well. Keep that report number. After you get a report number, Send that to the FBI. After you send that to the FBI, the FBI will communicate with the police department. Okay? They will communicate to I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> okay. I gotta go. Bye. Mwah.